What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another finishing session. I have a friend with me today and we're just going to be doing a lot of three balls, finishing, shooting, all that stuff. Maybe we might go into crossing and finishing at the end. So first we started off with some three balls on the left side. At this point we had already finished warming up and also did some running. One player is playing the ball while the other one is making a small run before finishing the ball. We tried to limit ourselves to two touches but that didn't mean we couldn't take more touches if necessary. This is a great drill for any attackers whether you play winger or striker. Make sure if you're planning to do this drill, focus on the timing of your run. Take into account that in the game, running too late you can get the ball intercepted by the opposition and making your run too early you might end up offside. So now we move into some first time finish. This is one of those basic drills that must be worked on regularly. The player shooting the ball will start with the ball. The other person will have their back to goals and we'll do a quick one two laying the ball back with first touch for the person shooting the ball and then it's a first time finish from there. You cannot take any extra touches, just strike the ball. At least that's what we were aiming to do. We move into three balls again, but from the right side this time, same thing as the first drill, just switching sides. I realize the camera angle isn't too good, so I do have to apologize for that. Now we moved into ground crosses first time finish though all we're doing here is tap-ins a lot of goals can be scored from tap-ins and to get a tap-in in the first place you need to have good awareness and positioning and have the ability to get in the end of crosses. I was just aiming to get the ball on the back of the net looking to place it into the corners when I could. This is a striker's bread and butter being able to capitalize in crosses and tap in situations would get you a lot of goals and that's why I really wanted to focus and work in this skill.
same thing once again, but we'll just switch sides. To finish off the session, we just did some technical work. Reason mate is only using his right foot, right leg, is because he hurt his left leg. I think he was carrying a little injury on his left leg. If you are following this session, make sure to use both legs. Because you need, um, to be a good player, you need to be good with both feet, especially in this, in today's game.